Hi friends, welcome to the another episode of Think Reviews podcast. Today we are going to talk about a short thriller written by Ravi Subramanian and Jigs Asher titled as Insomnia. What if a few writers team up together and share the writing journey? Well, one can do the research work and prepare the first draft of the content and the other more experienced one can finally edit the stuff to make it even better and engaging sometimes the roles can be different also but the keyword here is collaboration when the book is out and name of both the authors on the cover page it will reach out to the readers of both of them and eventually it is a win win situation for both or all of them of course considering the book is worth the same this is not a new concept of course around the world many writers do such collaborations regionally and even internationally james patterson is very famous for doing so and probably it is one of the reasons of his popularity across many countries recently ravi subramanian and jignesh asher did one such collaboration that resulted into two books or shorts as they call them we have already shared our views and reviews for one of the shorts a brutal hand earlier And today we are going to talk about the second book from this collab, Insomnia, with the tagline "Keep your eyes open." Let us have a look at the cover page of the book. Insomnia, as you know, refers to a medical condition where you cannot sleep at night. Well, of course, this is in plain words and not in medical jargon. The cover page of the book shows a lady sleepwalking. At the first glance, the place looks like a hospital corridor from an English movie or a TV show. The cover page uses white, silver and black colors with the title in red. The cover page is quite faithful to the story. Neat and clean surfaces and finishing of the element makes you like the cover page for sure. Let us take a bird's eye view of the story. ASP Meera Dikshit attends a distress call made to the police helpline. Someone is calling to save him from his wife as she is attacking him to kill. The call got disconnected and the ASP found that the person was in desperate need of help so she visited the place she found the target place a closed house at a quiet place and despite her ringing the doorbell no one has opened the door the commissioner of police called an important meeting to analyze the law enforcement situation across the financial capital of the country when mira mentioned about the call She was told that the call could have been a prank and she should not take it very seriously as she had already visited the place she need not to worry more about it a young and dynamic police officer however a young and dynamic police officer aditya sachdev advocate to follow up the call he was assigned on the case to accompany meera there are some personal reasons aditya was willing to take this case he doesn't want to avoid the call and eventually regret not helping someone who is in desperate need of it that is what police is for right on visiting the place they meet rohit acharya he lives there with his wife tanvi tanvi is the daughter of late dev bakshi the owner of bakshi pharma she is having a medical condition she often does sleep walking and during those time she was out of control She tried killing Rohit a few times. Rohit was the one who made the distress call. With the fear of getting killed by his wife, he was unable to sleep. What will the police do? Will she be taken to a hospital where she could have been under better care? Will she attack Rohit again? And what are the demons Aditya is fighting with? Will Meera fall in for Aditya during this investigation? Well, you can get answers to all these questions when you read the book. now my views and reviews if the title is insomnia then why the tagline is keep your eyes open isn't it contradictory if you suffer from insomnia basically you need to put in efforts and get medication to close them and get to sleep why then it is telling to keep them open well the answer lies in the story nothing is misplaced here spread over 56 chapters this story has comparatively limited character It revolves mainly around the investigating team Meera and Aditya and the couple they are investigating the case of Tanvi and Rohit 
well as i want to make it spoiler proof so i will not tell you more about the story but if you are a movie lover from the initial segment of the book you will remember hindi film officer starring sunil shetty and ravina tandon with dan dengzogpa and sadashiv amrapurkar also notice that like in other books of ravi subramanian there is a character the male protagonist named as aditya so now you know the shades of the character and what could the story have been the book starts in an interesting way like their other short thriller the authors has collaborated the thrills in this story also quite well for example let us take a look at the scene of the book meera dikshit assistant superintendent of police turned right at the metro cinema junction towards chhatrapati shivaji terminus cst as it is popularly called is a historic railway station and a world heritage site in mumbai it was 1 am on a cold sunday in december but the city was still awake in addition to introducing the character this line gives geographical details about the location a little historical fact about it the time when it was happening the weather at that time and the traffic situation and the spirit of the city is also reflected quite effectively it is an art to weave all these elements together in just a few words any avid reader will surely admire the talent of the authors here such detailing is found in almost all the scenes it is not just an exception for example here is another scene from the book pushing open the iron grill they show a thin silver haired old man in dark blue shorts and yellow t-shirt he was watering plants that neatly bordered a manicure lawn now manicure lawn will give you an idea that the place belongs to a wealthy rich fellow the person is silver haired wore shorts and t-shirt watering the plants give you an idea that he is plenty of idle time that comes when you have enough money and less responsibilities especially if it is happening on a weekday this lines also give you an idea that though this is the first time you meet the character but you will keep meeting him more than once over the course of the story the authors you keep giving background information and historical references wherever needed for example and there is one more scene where they are talking about a specific place it is like as the name suggests the section of the colony has cluster of five gardens interconnected by a circular avenue lined with trees the authors have paid attention to smaller details for example they named a home paradise the cops in the book are humans means they are not the superheroes so in addition to their strengths they have their limitations and vulnerabilities as well such human behavior is reflected throughout the book here is an example Mira pulled out her service revolver murmured a silent prayer and rang the doorbell such reflexes are normal then that makes the character look more real sometimes the attributes of the characters are referred to indirectly for example aditya's interaction with amol at traffic signal amol is a small boy and this interaction tells a lot about aditya's persona which is not mentioned anywhere directly in the book If you are a fan of one liners you will find some of them in this book as well for example crime appears to have gone on a vacation the interaction between all the important characters of the book and elaboration of their characteristics for example the commissioner of police is a punctual person and is always on time etc is one of the key strengths of the book here are some of the important characters that play a vital role in the story and some of the names might look like taken from the real life with a twist of course asp meera dikshit salunghe hemant gokhle the commissioner of police rohini singh viras bejmet at academy aditya sachdev rohit acharya tanvi bakshi farma let dev bakshi sam mehta pradap chauhan dr binas mistri Mahesh Sir Desai and others as said earlier i can reveal many aspects of the story to avoid spoilers but 
the fact that bakshi pharma valued at rupees 2000 crores plays an important part in the story it can be shared i found some of the letdowns in the book as well for example like say the sequence from the initial segment where mira visits the caller place to how she and aditya are assigned the case seems a little disconnected it could have been a little more convincing also some scenes showing emotions taking over the reality are not so convincing well you may find this book a little pricey the good thing however is it is available for free to read under amazon's kindle unlimited subscription so if you are one of the subscribers you shouldn't give it a miss summary well if you love thrillers you will enjoy reading this book think are you rating well i will give it around 7.5 stars out of 10 so what do you think about this book do you love reading thrillers do you love exploring police procedurals are you going to read it have you already read it please share your thoughts and remarks via comments below what do you think about this review if there are any other book or books you want to suggest us for our future reviews please do not hesitate to mention them in the comments thank you for listening to this podcast and giving your time to us we'll see you with another book review another podcast till then bye bye take care namaskar